my students now coming to the next chapter that is looping structure in the session you are going to learn about four types of loops what are they for loop for each loop oil loop do while loop so first let us see what is looping structure why we are using loops in php let us see that okay let us see one real world example you are taking any one task or any one work if you want to do that work for multiple number of times repeatedly again and again that is called looping okay so if you want to perform a particular task for a certain number of times based on the condition then you can call it as looping structure let's see this example you are feeling hungry this is the condition eat one apple this is the statement now i am asking to you are you feeling hungry now for this question you will say two answers either yes or no if you are feeling hungry you will say yes if you are not feeling hungry you will say no here yes means true no means false so are you feeling hungry this is the condition you have to check this condition it returns either true or false if it returns true then you have to execute the statements which means eat on apple so now i am asking to you are you feeling hungry now you are saying yes which means the condition is true so eat on apple again check the condition are you feeling hungry now you are saying again yes so eat on apple and again i am asking are you feeling hungry now again you are saying yes which means the condition is true so eat on apple which means execute this statement and now again i am asking are you feeling hungry now now you are saying the answer no which means the condition is false so here you have to stop your execution which means here the loop will be terminated so you no need to eat more apples because your stomach is full now this is the procedure we are going to learn in this topic you have to check the condition first if that condition is only true then you have to execute the statements otherwise you no need to execute the statements now let's see the definition of looping structure looping structures are useful for writing iteration logics iteration means if you want to perform a particular task repeatedly for certain number of times then you can call it as iterations iteration 1 iteration 2 iteration 3 etc which means number of steps okay it is most important feature of many programming languages including php it is it is most important feature of many programming languages php loops are used to execute the same block of code again and again instead of adding several equal code lines in a script we can use loops to perform a task now let's see the flow chart for looping structure it having four steps first step is initialization second step is loop condition third step is statements and fourth step is increment or decrement here the first circle is for start and this last circle is for end so first you have to initialize the variable after that check the condition if that condition is true then you have to execute the block of statements if that condition is false then you have to exit from the loop here if the condition is true then you have to execute the block of statements and again update the value of the variable again go to the step 2 that is check the condition again if the condition becomes true then again execute the statements and do the same process until the condition becomes false once the condition becomes false then you have to exit the loop okay so this is the procedure to execute the looping structure now let us see these types of looping structure loops are implemented using the following categories for loop for each loop while loop do while loop there are four types of loops what are they for loop for each loop while loop do while loop in these loops one condition will be given if that condition is true then you have to execute the block of statements 
but if the condition is false you no need to execute that block of statements okay you have to exit from the loop no need to execute that statements so if the condition is only true then you have to execute the statements otherwise no need to execute that statements so first let us see for loop this for loop execute a block of code which means block of statements a specified number of times it execute the block of statements specified number of times this is the syntax we already discussed about the four steps of looping structure what are they initialization condition and statements and increment here you have to write the initialization and condition and increment steps within the parenthesis okay see here for first you have to write the initialization value and next write the condition test counter means condition and next write the increment counter write the updation of value okay after that write the block of statements okay within the curly brace you have to write the block of statements in this for loop okay see this flow chart this is the flow chart for for loop first you have to initialize the value that is i is equal to 0 0 is the initial value here which means you have to start your execution from this zero if here i is one means you have to start your execution from one but here given i is equal to zero so you have to start your execution from zero because initial value is zero okay so after that next up is what condition you have to check the condition okay i is less than 100 this is the condition you have to check the condition i is what 0 0 is less than 100 this is true or not true 0 is less than 100 okay so this condition is true so you have to execute the next statement system dot out dot print l and that statement you have to execute that statement after that see the next step i plus plus update the value of variable i which means what is the value of i 0 so i plus plus means 0 plus plus that means 1 okay so i becomes 1 so you can check the condition i is what 1 1 is less than 100 check the condition this is true so execute the next statement system dot out dot print l and next again update the value i plus plus so this i becomes 2 which means on plus plus again check the condition again this condition becomes true you have to execute the statements until this condition becomes false here this i is equal to 100 means 100 less than 100 here the condition becomes false so here the loop execution will be terminated okay let's see one example for i is equal to 0 i is the control variable its initialization value is 0 and i is less than or equal to 10 this is the condition i plus plus means increment okay so now check the condition i is less than or equal to 10 i value is what 0 so 0 is less than or equal to 10 0 is less than 10 so this condition is true so you have to execute the next step echo the number is dollar i so you will get the output the number is colon what is the value of i 0 so the, the number is colon 0 it will be printed on the output screen next br br means break that line okay update the values i plus plus means i becomes 1 so again check the condition 1 is less than or equal to 10 this condition is true so execute the statement the number is colon 1 will be printed on the output screen next to break and again update the value i plus plus means 1 plus plus that is i becomes 2 check the condition 2 is less than or equal to 10 this condition is true so execute the number is colon 2 will be printed on the output screen and again update the value so 2 plus plus means 3 and check the condition this is true so execute the statement again update the value repeat the same process until this i becomes 11 okay 
after that the loop will be terminated so for this code you will get the output the number is colon 1 to 10 it will be printed on the output screen see here this is the output next let us see for each loop it opens only with arrays the loop iteration the opens on each key value pair in the array so what do you mean by array collection of same type homogeneous elements stored in the list that is called array each element of an array will be stored in the particular location which means particular key okay in this loop you have to use same type of variables if you are using different type of variables it will show the error message okay see this is this index for each this is the keyword and next array as value so write the variable name in this place and write the sequence here and next code to be executed means block of statements you have to write the block of statements within the curly braces see here list of array elements are given sequence is equal to 18 20 32 this is the list of elements which is stored in the array variable that is seek s e q and the next see the for each loop for each and array variable x next of sequence sequence means you have to take the values from sequence array variable list one by one okay and print x if that value is available in that list you have to print that value in the output screen okay see this example here student name is the array variable name is equal to array and write the elements what are they mahilan inian nilani sibi shiny these are same type of elements and next for each student name student name is what array variable name as value value means sequence and write echo value within the curly braces okay so first you have to take the first value that is mahilan and it will be printed on the output screen because echo value is given okay so mahilan is the value and the next take next value inian and echo value means inian will be printed on the output screen and the next nilani that will be printed on the output screen next cb shiny will be printed on the output screen see this is the output so next let us see while loop this while loop is used for simple iteration logic it is checking the condition whether true or false it executes the loop if the specific condition is true this is its index while condition right here condition and next write the code to be executed which means block of statements so you have to first initialize the variable and write next write the while and within the parenthesis you have to write the condition if that condition is true then you have to execute the statements after that update the value of control variable again check the condition again do the same process until the condition becomes false when the condition becomes false you have to stop your execution okay this is the example student count is equal to 10 here student count is a variable and 10 is a value see the next line student number is equal to 1 this is the initialization student number is a variable and 1 is the initial value and check the condition while student number is less than or equal to student count this is the condition what is the value of student number 1 what is the value of student count 10 so you have to check this condition 1 is less than or equal to 10 1 is less than or equal to 10 is true or not 1 is less than 10 so this condition is true if that condition is true then what will you do you have to execute the next statement what is that the student number is and write the student number what is 1 it will be printed on the output screen after that break that line and student number plus plus which means you have to increment the value of student number student number value is what 1 so 1 plus plus is equal to 2 
so now the student number value is what two again check the condition student number is less than or equal to student count student number is what now two two is less than ten this condition is true then you have to execute the student number is two will be printed on the output screen okay again update the value now the student number will becomes three again check the condition three is less than 10 so this is true print this statement the student number is 3 will be printed on the output screen and again update the value so student number will becomes 4 so you have to do the same process under the student number will becomes 11 okay if the student number is 11 means 11 is less than or equal to 10 here the condition becomes false because 11 is not less than 10 and 11 is not equal to 10. So, here the condition becomes false. You have to stop your execution here. Okay. So, this is the output. See here. And in next loop is do while loop. This is different from other loops. In this loop, first you have to execute the statements. After that, you have to check the condition whether it is true or false. So, this is his index. Do. Do means you have to write the action here. Action means block of statements. Do is a keyword. And curly brace. After that, write the block of statements. And next, close the curly brace. Then, write the while loop condition. While condition is true. So, here first you have to write the block of statements. After that, check the condition. Okay. So, in previous loops, you have to check the condition first. Based on the condition, you have to execute the block of statements. But here, you have to first write the block of statements and next write the condition. If that condition is false, you have to stop your execution. If that condition is true, then you have to go to this step and execute that statements and again check the condition. After that, if the condition is again true, again go to this step. Do the same process until the condition becomes false. Okay. See this example. Student count is equal to 10. Student count is a variable. Value is 10. And next variable is student number is equal to 1. Student number is a variable and its value is 1. Here this is the initialization. Student number is equal to 1. 1 is the initial value. And next, do, this is the keyword. So you have to write the block of statement first. And next, write the increment. And last line, see the last line. In this line, you have to write the condition. So, our student count value is 10. Student number is equal to 1. And do this action. Which means, echo the student number is student number. Student number is what? 1. So, student number is colon 1 will be printed on the output screen. Next, break that line. And next, student number plus plus. Student number plus plus means you have to update the value of student number. What is that? 1 plus plus means 2. After that, close the curly brace. Now, check the condition. Student number is what now? 2. 2 is less than or equal to student count. So, 2 is less than student count value is what 10. 2 is less than 10. This condition is true. So, then you have to execute again this echo statement which means the student number is student number. Now, student number is what 2. So, the student number is 2 will be printed on the output screen. And you next break that line. And student number plus plus means 2 plus plus that is 3. Again, check the condition. Do the same process until the condition becomes false. Suppose here if the student count value is 1 means. See here the student count value is 1. Student number is also 1. Now see this line echo the student number is student number. Student number is not 1. So the student number 1 will be printed on the output screen. And after that, increment that value, student number plus plus, which means 1 plus plus 2. Okay. 
After that, check the condition. Student number is less than or equal to student count. Student count is what? 1. Student number is what? 2. 2 is less than or equal to 1. This is false. So, here you have to stop your execution. But you will get the output for this code. The student number is 1 will be printed on the output screen. Because the do while loop will be executed at least once even the condition becomes false. So this is about looping statements. I hope you understand. Thank you students.